Hello Taurus, welcome back to Femacy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're gonna be taking a look at what it is that you need to know to book your private reading with me. All of that info is below along with all of the price listings. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. Please check out Femacy's Artist Spotlight. Right now I have Massachusetts Artist Boston. Hit the description box below. You're gonna find a link there that's gonna take you to Boston's music page. Please share, like, and subscribe. All right, so let's take a look at what Taurus needs to know. Spirit, please talk to me about the recent past. What's going on with this person that Taurus thinks about in the recent past, please? Talk to me about the recent past when it comes to this person that Taurus thinks about. What's going on with Taurus's person in the recent past? What's going on with them? Talk to me about Taurus's person in the recent past. Tell me more about this person in the recent past. Hmm. A lot of interesting cards coming out here. The recent past, please. Bottom of the deck here, the Nine of Wands. So obviously this is someone who is being defensive. And they are definitely in a mood. Okay, I don't know if they're in a mood with you or if somebody else in their life is irritating them. But as you can see, look at his face. I mean, he's holding a grudge. So let's take a look at these cards, right? The Five of Wands for the recent past. Okay, this is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Seven of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is known as the Thief, the Liar. We have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have this Ten of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. The Ace of Swords in Reverse, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then this Eight of Pentacles, Okay, so there's avoidance here. I feel like this person is running away from the truth. There's also an energy here of them not getting what they want from you right now. So they could be deceptive and be utilizing other energies to distract them from a situation that's going on with you is what I'm getting here, all right? Because when it comes to them thinking of reconcile or you guys getting on the same page, this is how they feel internally with the five of wands, all right? With the six of pentacles energy, they would like for things to be balanced with you the only thing is that it has to be on their terms. And you're not going to agree with that, Taurus. All right. You know, this needs to be mutual give and take. If not, you're not with it. With the Ace of Swords, one of you is not communicating. Which is the primary issue here. We have the Ten of Swords. So somebody is just holding on to their thoughts which in return is making them feel like something is completely over. Yes, I feel like this person wants to communicate with you or send you a message, but I also feel that because of everything that you might've been through with this person or because of something that they might've been through with someone else, they're hesitant with you and they could be distracting themselves with another energy. Someone that they're not really into, but for them, it's easier to start something new than to fix something that's more meaningful. That makes no sense, right? <laughs> to me, you know, if I've invested so much time into someone, why would I just go and jump off into something I have no idea about. But anyway, let's take a look at 
the present. That's the recent past. How does this person feel in the present for Taurus? How does this person feel in the present for Taurus, please? How does this person feel in the present for Taurus? You see? They got some type of issue with you. I don't know what their problem is, but it seems like they're either trying to block you out, they're ignoring a situation. You know, I just feel that they're being very pessimistic. Tell me more about, all right, we have the hermit. So there's someone here who has gone quiet. That's Virgo energy. Tell me more about the hermit, please. Tell me more. The Nine of Cups. I feel like this is what they're lying to themselves about. You're everything that they want. However, they don't have enough discipline to act accordingly. <laughs> That's part of the problem. And if they can't learn how to keep themselves in check, then you don't want any parts of it. I just feel like in order for them to be with you, there are certain things that they need to understand or there are certain conditions that they need to have. You know, you have your type, Taurus. And although you are attracted to this person, I just feel that there are some areas of their life that they really need to refine is what I'm getting, right? I feel like they are also very codependent on other people. And what you're looking for, Taurus, is for this person to be a little bit more independent. Tell me more about the present when it comes to this person. Guarded. You're trying to get them to see something and they are ignoring it. They don't want to hear the truth about themselves. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Tell me more about the present. Okay, yeah. So we have Sagittarius energy coming out here with temperance, the ace of pentacles, and then the two of pentacles. It's like they're anxious about how this connection would work. And they would like to offer you something because I see that. And, you know, for a lot of you, they want higher levels of commitment with you. But because of the fact that you're so passionate when you're expressing yourself, you know how sometimes, like I said before, people can take a Torian as having anger issues just because you know, we're going to speak our mind and sometimes it comes off a bit aggressive, but it's not that we have anger issues. It's just, we don't, we don't hold back. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people just take that the wrong way. And this person feels that if the connection were to go to the next level, that you would probably kick them out or, you know, something like that. This person is feeling that, they would suddenly be unstable if you were to come at them about something that they did that you didn't agree with. And they don't want to be out in the cold. You know what I'm saying? So um, some of you already threw this person out for some of you, right? But they go back and forth about how the future would be with you. All right, so let's talk about the future. What's going to happen with this person in the future? Talk to me about Taurus and the person that Taurus thinks about in the future. Aries energy. Tell me more about the future. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Tell me more about the future for Taurus and this person. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Two of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces for the future, the Hanged Man with Pisces, tell me more about the future, 
the Death card with Scorpio and the Hierophant. Oh, man. All right, so this is communication. This is them trying to talk to you. All right. You have this person over here just really wanting things to just work out, but in their favor. You know what I'm saying? It's like it has to be their way or no way. They want you, though. They're watching. They're waiting. They want to take that leap of faith, right? But what I'm getting here is that there's something else that needs to end as well, right? Who is this other person that they deal with? There's another energy here. Once they can end that, then they will get the Hierophant, you. But they got to go through all of that first. You know that there's another energy. You feel it, right? I feel it too. So when they let go of that, then they're going to get the opportunity. If you decide, right? It's up to you. Let me clarify the death card here with the Hierophant. Spirit, please clarify the death card in the future here with the Hierophant. Clarify that. Ah, there goes the Queen of Wands that we've been talking about. Yeah. This person needs to say goodbye to the Queen of Wands so that you and them can be together. She's been coming out a lot, and I do these readings every day. She is the other person. This Queen of Wands has no idea that this person wants to be with you. And it doesn't matter what sign this other person that they're dealing with is. Yes, this is fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. However, you know, this is someone who is very persistent, okay, to the point where she may not want to let go. That's part of the problem that the person that you're dealing with knows awaits them to deal with the Queen of Wands because I really do feel, and, you know, me and my clients have been talking about this because the Queen of Wands keeps coming out here. I feel... You and this queen of wands are going to end up having a conversation in the future because I truly feel within me that this person ends up leaving the queen of wands. She clarified the death card. That means that this is going to be over. And then your person gets to be with you. All right, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. I wanna thank you so much for watching to book your private reading. All of that info is below and take care.